everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use the DocuFlow plugin for Revit. For all its capabilities, Revit and Autodesk programs in general have a surprisingly frustrating PDF generating sequence. None of them have an inbuilt PDF creator and you can't specify things such as JPEG compression or even simplify the whole file naming process. It seems like you have to go through a dozen steps just to generate a single PDF. And if you're generating several individual PDFs, you're prompted to specify the location and the name of each one of them. It's quite ridiculous. While looking for a better alternative, I came across a plugin called DocuFlow. It detects sheet sizes and orientation. All your documents are exported in one operation and you no longer have to manually select sheets. You can find this DocuFlow plugin on the Autodesk App Store and I'm going to link it in the description below. They offer a free 7-day trial which is what I'm going to take advantage of right now. The download process takes a little bit of time because it has several libraries and PDF creators to download as well. I'm going to fast forward through this download process. Once it's complete, head over to your Revit file and you're going to see a new tab called Archigraphics. When you click on the DocuFlow icon, a dialog box will pop up with all the sheets currently in your project. I'm going to scroll down to my interior elevation sheets A401 and A402. And I just want to create PDFs for this round and not DWGs. I'll specify the location of the PDFs and that's it. You can see it automatically detects the width and height of the sheets as well as the orientation, whether it's portrait or landscape. The two PDFs that I wanted are saved in the folder I specified. I think the best part of this is that you're no longer prompted for file names every single time a PDF is generated. DocuFlow claims to be 65% faster than Bluebeam, which is quite impressive. Head over to the Autodesk App Store to get a free trial of this plugin and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Belinda. This is Automation and Building Construction. Thanks for watching.